nilileta bibi yangu jana asubuhi saa 12 kwa hospitali kimilili kukucha kuchifungua baadaye alishindikana na wakampeleka fieta kupeleka fieta alienda mwendo wa saa tano. kutoka saa tano, mpaka saa nane hapo aliniambia ni ngocha takaka 15 mtoto anaenda kutolewa fieta aletewe alete kwa matanati sasa hiyo wakati wa kungoja takaka 15 baadaye madaktari wananiambia mtoto aliletwa na amepotea kuleta mama yake mtoto achaonekana paka saa hii ndio nikaamua kupika report kwa polisi wanisaidia kutafuta mtoto na hiyo mambo vile nilipika report paka saa hii sichaona mtoto yangu na ni mtoto mchanga hadi yenye tulienda polisi alafu akauliza daktari mwenye alienda akafanya operation alitoka na mtoto na akapea mwenye anaosha hapo ndani cleaners hadi alimpea mtoto na cleaners alikuja na mtoto paka kwa serikali uchungu sana nimefanyia operation hakuna mtoto serikali inasaidia mtoto wangu katika saa hii nimerazwa na wenzangu wenye wame wakona watoto nikiona mwenzangu akinyonyesha kweli nasi nasikia uchungu sana kwa sababu si kutarajia nikoze mtoto wangu pia mimi nilitarajia iko na nyonyesha mtoto wangu nasikia uchungu sana sina amani hata mali nilifanyiwa operation bado nasikia uchungu sana niko na machungu sana kuhusu ya mtoto mtoto wa ana niliomba Mungu anipe nilikuwa natarajia tu Mungu anipe mtoto kijana na niliambiwa na daktari alikuwa kijana lakini sikumuona kwa kwanza pia nilifanyiwa operation sasa huyu pia nimefanyiwa operation kwa kwanza ni msichana Alafu sister akaniita akaniambia unipe towel ya mtoto na leso. Kaenda nikachukua towel na leso nikaletea sister, nikakapea sister yangu, wakaenda tieta. Walipoenda tieta, wakasema tungojee kidogo kuna mgonjwa mwingine, tumpe dakika 15 huyu atoke ndio huyu aingie. Si tukakaa nje na shemeji yangu, tulipokaa na huyu akaingia tieta. Alipoingia tieta tukakaa nje kufika saa tisa na wanatuita ananiambia kwamba ndio mgonjwa amekuja kaingia ndani tukaweka mgonjwa kwa kitanda tuliweka mgonjwa kwa kitanda sister akaniambia nipe mtoto nikamuuliza sister wakatulienda na tawili ya mtoto au utanipea mtoto akaniambia mtoto mimi nilileta kitambo mtoto alikuja kuanzia pale si kuona mtoto na sijaona mtoto paka leo Tunaambiwa tu na hospitali ya kwamba mtoto amepotea. Mimi nataka niulize swali moja kama representative wa maeni ya kwamba wakati daktari amefanya upasuaji huko theater. Nani mwenye huwa anachukua mtoto kutoka theater akipeleka kwa ward? Hiyo ndio swali yenye niko nauliza na tumejiuliza watu wengi sana. Ni nurse ama ni mtu mwingine tu mwenye aka anatembea? Bora awe ni mwanamke. Hiyo ndiyo imesababisha mtoto kupotea sababu hatuna uhakika wakati nas alikuwa kwa u, kwa, kwa theater, na akachukua mtoto hakufikisha mtoto kwa ward kwa kitanda ya mama kitu kile sisi tunataka ni mtoto penye watasema walipea nani mtoto huyo nasi alipea nani mtoto aseme sababu mtu tu mzima mwenye amesomea a professional hawezi tu peana mtoto kwa mtu yoyote mwenye ako anatembea tu kuna watu wengi wanatembea hapa nje wanakuja kuona wagonjwa wao. Huwezi tu pea mtoto ya mtu upee tu kwa mikono yenye hauna habari huyu mtu amekuja kuona mgonjwa mwingine ama ni nani. Ukitoka theater mimi najua ni nazi huwa anabeba mtoto. Na akibeba mtoto lazima afikishe kwa ward. Sababu hata kuna watoto wengine wanaweza kuwa mama amepasuliwa na mtoto hata maybe hapumui ama afanye chochote. Hao ni watoto lazima wawe taken care. Huyu mgonjwa aka anaenda theater bila aka anaenda tieta leta taweli na leso na semecha akaenda akachukua taweli alafu akapea sijui sister akamwambia mkonjo mwingine ako tieta muongochee dakika 15 akitoka alafu huyu wenyu aingie saa kitoko hivyo alafu nikaona semechi kweli aliingia walikuwa wanamsindikiza anaingia bila aliingia ukaa hapo yani nimekaa nikiangalia nione 
mkonjo mwenye walisema tuongoze dakika 15 apite si kuona alafu tukakaa tukakaa kuona mtoto sioni mtoto sasa hata mimi pia walinifanyia operation nikasema dakika 15 ikiisha mtoto atakuwa amekucha alafu mama yake atapaki huko saa kitoka ata, atatoka tukakaa hatuoni mtoto tukakaa hatuoni mtoto saa sapa saa ya lunch hiyo saa ya lunch nikaambia shemeji amka twende hapo ndani tukaenda hapo ndani vile tulienda hapo ndani kitambe yenye shemeji alikuwa amelala tukapata msichana amekaa na mtoto amekaa na mtoto ameshika hii sasa kama mimi nimekucha hapo nimepata mtu na mtoto ameshika nitachua wangu ama sio wangu siwezi nikamnyang'anya basi ikakuwa tu hapo hivyo sister anapita tu anaenda huku sister anapita tu akauliza huyo msichana muko na hawa huyo msichana akamwambia sio hawa kuna wengine sisi tukanyamaza hapo saa nane vile ilifika tukatoka kidogo hapo kwa penji basi tukakaa tukakaa msichana mwingine alikuwa kando tu na huyo agali ndani tukakaa vile walikucha saa tisa hiyo wakachukua kitanda hapo yani wanachukua tu na hasira wanapambana tu wanapita wanaenda mi nikakaa nikasema waacha tuangalie pengine wanatuletea mtoto kukucha wanakuja na shemeji bila mtoto sasa mi nika, nikauliza shemeji mtoto ako wapi ama amekufa wakipeleka wakapeleka ndani bila walipeleka ndani tukafuata wakaita shemeji huyu fei atikucha hapa akaingia ndani bila aliingia ndani mi wakafunga mlango nikapaki huku kwa oti yenye ilikuwa nini mahali penye alikuwa bila nilipaki hapo na wakauliza fei tupe mtoto na pia akasema sisa au kunipea mtoto sasa nitoe wapi mtoto hii harakati tukaanza kutafuta mtoto huyo sisa anasema mtoto alikuwa hapa huyo mtoto alikuwa hapa na huyo msichana sasa ame she also had a caretaker uh, but unfortunately thing happened uh, that after the delivery it was safe and uh, to a male child um, they brought the baby to the hospital to the main hospital the ward of Zeta but then there's an impossible uh, someone who was not supposed to be a caretaker who decided to take the baby on behalf of the him caretaker who just left the baby Yeah, but um, uh, during the same, uh, at the same time, the real caretaker came and shared with this imposter about the baby. And then they were left chatting. So our nurses, our doctors, saw that they were together because the, this is the real caretaker of the baby, and this is an imposter. So we could not differentiate uh, because all of them were new in the hospital. So we expected that if at all this uh, caretaker, the one we have known, and these are the clothes the baby was uh, given from home, and then it was to be noticed only by the, the real caretaker. And now after, the imposter was seen around uh, town, that's around Kaulu Bank, was also seen around KCB Bank, and we are still following up because there is someone who said that he knows where uh, that uh, that imposter will be coming from so we are still following up the case with the police uh, the hospital has taken measures uh, to ensure that there are such a thing that's not happen again uh, we had a meeting yesterday uh, in the evening and again we have had another crisis meeting this morning with the hospital management uh, to put measures in place one to assist the police and the relative also uh, so that to ensure that we recover that baby where the baby is as of now so the case is still with the police our administrators working the police they are uh, getting the information from the maternity they are getting information from the other caretaker who was there from the mother who is in the ward operating after the surgery so we expect very soon uh, we shall get more information from the police as they have just begun the investigation the hospital has cctv but uh, it is not working well uh, because of the network we have our partners who are still assisting us to have the CCTV being installed. It was supposed to be have been done this August, 
but if you move around you can see the cameras but it's not working because of the network issue from the CCTV so that's why we are involving the police so that there is CCTV around the phone bank we want to see if it can help us there is CCTV around the petrol station whereby this lady was also identified there is also another lady who works with a, a hotel it's called uh, Breeze some Breeze Hotel uh, hotel at uh, a town who also identified so the lady and also supported the lady by giving her 200 shillings because they suspected that this lady is tired confused and she has a baby so the other ma the other lady in the hotel uh, decided to assist her ask her why are you confused and look like uh, you are unsettled so she told that lady that uh, I've just given birth and I don't have fear to home I'm walk wa walking to walk, uh, to to home uh, because I don't have fear and I have not been assisted so the, the, the lady in the hotel decided to give her 200 shillings to facilitate her move to, to where she stays. Then after that, she was also seen in a Chana place whereby people take a Chana within town. That's the place where our staff went there with our ambulance and got information that the, uh, the truth is that that lady was there, was seen with her baby. She also looked confused, but she was telling people that that's her baby. She's in a young age. She's not an elder patient, a person. She's a young age. She's even a teenage. She's about uh, 18 to 19 years old, a uh, young girl uh, holding this kind of uh, uh, 